Hey everybody, I don't know um, if you could hear me well or not. Um, this phone is like trash now. We have to get new ones. But what I wanted to show you guys, um, we finished the ninth row. And today we're going to be um, doing our cleats um, that we're going to be hooking the electrical up to. We have a pipe coming through right here. Um, so the solar can get in there stuff like that but I wanted to show you probably the biggest earth bag lesson that we have had here now if you look um, some of these bags like this one here this is a good good bag it's like really thick and we got some really thick ones over here too you know all of them should be that thick and if you look like this one here this one is not thick okay that one's just like not great but um that's kind of because we didn't know how to fill the bags properly i guess is the best way to put it um we just thought if the bag was full um, that was that but you gotta really really make sure that bag is super full because we were getting creases and stuff in them from when we would stand a bag up and fill it um, and then it just wouldn't go like like let me see like that's a pretty good example like right here I don't know if you can see this very well but right here, like, that was from when the bag was upright, right there. So we had filled that much of it right there. And then it was upright while we were filling the rest of it. And um, it leaves these big creases in the bags. <clears throat> now, creases like this aren't awful, but they're not great. Um, you don't want any creases in your bags if you could help it. But the more you kind of shove in them, the higher the structure will be, obviously, which means the less bags you need to use to get to a certain height. So <clears throat> right now we're on nine. And I thought to get eight feet, um, we would be using 12 to 16 bags. And I am horribly wrong because we're about to do the 10th row and we are only about, I don't know what that would be, um, three feet, maybe more, I don't know. Um, but we should be like, we should be like this high about with the amount of, well, about this high with the amount of bags that we've used. Um, based on how much earth we put in them and as you can see some of the bags are really thick and then some of them aren't and <clears throat> honestly the ones that aren't i think that was when um at the peak of my shoulder um feeling awful um another thing is is if you could see over here it's really dark because the sun's not hitting this yet. Let me see if I could go around this side and show you about this bit right here. You might remember us doing this bit right here. Um, as you can see, there is a bag, the second bag down um, started to um, go down because all the bags beneath it were a little bit lower and so what we did is we ridiculously filled that top bag and as you can see that is like really thick compared to the rest of the bag um so just like how gravity works you know like um the more 
dirt you put in a bag, it will end up filling that hole. Um, and it works out okay. I don't know if I'm making much sense right now. I felt very uh, knowledgeable before I started this video, and now I feel like I don't know the meaning of simple words. But um, just really, if you're going to do this and you're trying to figure out beforehand how many bags you're going to need to complete a project, you really, really need to make sure that you are going to be filling your bags up completely. Um, like to the point where they're about to burst, you know, and then um, you could tamp them down and stuff. But really, like, there's a lot of bags on here that we should have put a lot more into, and we didn't. So, this is a learning process for us. So, 